I get a ton of questions every single day about what is affiliate marketing and how it works. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to break it all down for you so that you understand what affiliate marketing is, how it works and why it works for the parties that are involved. Hello, my name is Alston Godbolt with AustinGodbolt.com. I create content to help you make money online. And recently, one of the biggest questions that I get over on TikTok is what is actually affiliate marketing? Uh, some people believe that it's just promoting affiliate marketing. So you're going to promote different courses about affiliate marketing, which creates this weird inception MLM feeling thing. Um, a lot of people say, well, how do how does it actually work? This doesn't make sense. Why would someone pay me to promote other people's products? So let's go ahead and we're going to take a look. So right here we're on Canva and what I've done is I've got, I've got three distinct parties. I've got the customer, I've got me and you, and then we've got the product owner. So what happens, and this happens all day, every day is the customer will come to the internet with a problem. And for example, the problem might be something like they want to lose weight. They want to lose 10 pounds. They want to know how to build or create a website. So you can see here, someone, me, you, we're all a part of this in some way. At some point, we are asking questions. Okay. So if we come back over here, we can see the person on the far left, the customer asking questions on the other end of it. We have the product owner. Now the product owner has the actual solution. So for example, uh, on this page here, we see that uh, a customer wants to learn how to lose weight. They want to learn how to lose 10 pounds in 10 days. And a, a, a product owner like, like Amazon, like a, a product that you'll find over on ClickBank, the flat belly fix, they actually have the solution, but the customer doesn't know where to find the solution. The customer doesn't know if it's the best solution for them. And so what we do, me and you, we actually will create content to help the customer out. So I'm actually going to make us a little bit bigger here. And what we are going to do is we are going to create content to help the customer understand their options and to make a recommendation. And this is what the basis of affiliate marketing is. The person has a, a, a problem we create content to help solve that problem, regardless if it's free or paid. And then we tell them where to find that solution. And you can do this with anything. Um, my first start was with web hosting. People asked what was the best web hosting provider for beginners. And I would tell them Bluehost. And then I would provide my affiliate link to Bluehost. And so uh, that's the origin. That's the genesis of affiliate marketing. Now, if we look at this slide here, um, what we do is we create content to help solve the problem. As you can see here, we will create a video or a, a blog post or TikTok or whatever it is where we're actually answering the customer's question, 10 ways to lose 10 pounds in 10 days. Maybe they're comparing two different ellipticals. They're comparing uh, maybe the elliptical 1000 versus the elliptical 3000. And they want to know which one is right for them. Uh, also, people are looking up Keto's Keto Review and then the five best ways to lose weight. So what we are going to do as the affiliate is we are going to partner with the product owners and we are going to provide our affiliate links in our content. And when we do this, people can click on our affiliate links and get paid. If we take a look at this slide here, the product owner has something to sell. That product owner can be Amazon, it can be Target, it can be Bluehost, or even something like ShareSell. Now, one of the biggest questions that I receive all the time is, why would a company like Amazon pay us instead of paying a marketing department or paying for advertising? One of the biggest reasons why people will buy from us is because we are seen as their friend or their family member. We are just a guy or girl that went out and found the solution. Customers don't trust Amazon. They don't trust Target to make the best solutions for them because they see Target and Amazon as just money grabbers, okay? Also for Amazon, it's actually cheaper to pay us than to pay an entire marketing de uh, de marketing department. But you can see um, Amazon, Target, Bluehost, ShareASale, they are more willing to work with us because it's cheaper than hiring a marketing department. Uh, customers don't trust major brands. How many times have you heard people say that they dislike Amazon or Walmart or you know some of the other places out there, but they trust the friend? 
okay? Um, if we look at our slide here, a better way to think about affiliate marketing is a customer has a problem. And normally when they go to, the, uh, when they have a problem, they talk to their friend. Hey, I'm thinking about getting, buying a new car. And the friend will say, um, don't buy a Toyota, buy a Honda. And this is why. And then the customer takes that advice and then they go over to the a Honda dealership based on the advice and the experience that their friend has. On the internet, me and you, the affiliate marketers, we are that virtual friend that will help guide them in the right decision and in the, in the right way. Now, most ethical affiliate marketers will guide them to the best decision. Other people out there will guide them to the decision that makes them the most money. You wanna be the ethical affiliate marketer. Okay, so this is the genesis, this is the basis of affiliate marketing. Now, in order for you to get started, what you wanna do is you want to pick a product or a niche that you wanna create content around. Now, literally everything is a niche, okay? If you can buy it and sell it, there is an affiliate program, there is a niche, there's somebody behind it that has a problem and someone else that has a solution. For example, this camera lens from Canon is a niche. So is this uh, Ring indoor camera. Thousands, millions of niches out there that you can get into. And what you wanna do is you wanna go out and find a niche or a product that you feel comfortable talking about, creating content about. Because if you don't feel like creating content in that niche, you are not going to be successful as an affiliate marketer because you're going to get bored and you're going to quit, okay? So this is the basics of affiliate marketing. Once you find a product to promote, for example, we're going to promote this ring indoor camera. I've actually earned commissions with this camera. You are then going to go to where the product is being sold and see if they have an affiliate program. For example, I know that that product is being sold over on Amazon. So we're going to go to amazon.com and we're going to look at if they have an affiliate program. You can do the same thing with literally any product or service out there. So on Amazon, I know that if I scroll all the way down to the bottom of the screen here, it'll say become an affiliate. So right here where it says become an affiliate, I click on this link and then I fill out an application to join the Amazon Associates affiliate program. Now let's say the place that you purchase the product doesn't have an affiliate program, you can come up to the search bar and you can type in uh, ring doorbell affiliate program. And you can see that there will be suggestions that you could go and apply. You're simply gonna go apply. You can see ring has a referral program, become ring central, not on target, but you're gonna find that most fortune 500, fortune 100 companies have an affiliate program in some way. You can also type in the niche, for example, if we're doing weight loss, we can do weight loss affiliates program, and then we can find a list of different weight loss affiliate programs. These are different companies that we are going to partner with in order to make money with affiliate marketing. You'll see companies like Weight Watchers has an affiliate program. You'll see companies or, or businesses like uh, Authority Hacker, Vloggers, they'll actually put together a list of the 10 or 15 best affiliate programs in the weight loss space. So now that we have an uh, under, understanding of the components, we know that we've picked a niche, we found an affiliate programs, the next thing that we wanna do is we want to think about the questions that our customers are buying. Now again, this is going to be critically important for your success because if you don't know what your customers are asking, you can't get in front of them and you can't create content to help them. It comes down to creating content so that you can help them out. Now, what I like to do is just to show you on YouTube is I like to think about the different types of questions that people are asking. If they are interested in this Ring indoor camera, I can come to YouTube and type in Ring Ring indoor camera. And if I hit the space bar here, you can see that people are asking questions about this individual product. You can see ring indoor camera versus ring stick up, ring indoor installation, review, setup, wall mount, unboxing. We could start creating content here to get in front of our highly targeted group of people. 
All right, and so just to show you that this is actually something that I do, if I go over to my oldest YouTube channel, The Security Camera Guy, and uh, we'll give this a minute because my computer's running a little slow today. Click on that. You can see that I have only 1,370 subscribers, only 95 videos, but that's not important. What's important is, look at this, Ring Video Doorbell for Unboxing. Um, also, if we look at this one, how to remove battery from Ring Doorbell 4, initial setup and installation. But what I really want to show you is I want to show you how this teeny tiny channel earned over 225,000 views. So we're going to go to most popular and I'm just going to look how to install Ring Doorbell without existing doorbell, 229,000 views. Uh, can you watch Ring Video Doorbell on your computer, 19,000 views. So I've created content that is highly targeted for people that are interested in the Ring Video Doorbell. I put my affiliate link in the description of the video. People click on it and buy, okay? So this is simply figuring out what your target audience wants to know. Um, the, the first thing that we did is we just typed in, uh, we typed in Ring Indoor Camera. What I wanna do next is I wanna type in Ring Indoor Camera versus now the reason why we're doing versus is because people when they're on their way to buy a product or service they want to compare one or two competitors versus the thing that they want to buy so if we look at this ring indoor camera versus ways i have a way somewhere around here i can't find it but you can see people are asking these types of questions you can create content to help them out it's all about creating content to help solve someone's problem Okay, and so after that, people might be typing in best indoor security camera or best indoor camera. Best indoor security camera. So um, what you wanna make sure that you're doing is simply creating content to help solve someone's problem. Now, if we look at this, best indoor security camera for home, for apartment, with no monthly fee, Hidden. So what we would want to do is once again, create content in this space and put together a list of the five or 10 best indoor security cameras. And hopefully you're starting to see that this is what affiliate marketing is. You are simply creating content to get in front of a highly targeted group of people to help them solve their problem and get them the product that they need. And this is the very basis of it. Um, after this, we can do best indoor security camera four, which I really like because you can put together a list of five or 10. Um, you can also ask other questions like who, what, when, where, why, and how. Now the key to affiliate marketing is to create content consistently. Most people struggle with affiliate marketing because they create one or two pieces of content and they say it doesn't work or they create one or two pieces of content and they take a step back and they expect money to fall out of the sky. When in reality, it takes consistent effort over a period of time to find success. You can, some people can find success faster than others because it really all depends in the niche that you get into. It depends on how good your content is and how much content you create. Now that you have a firm understanding of what affiliate marketing is, watch this video next to learn even more about affiliate marketing.